Kayla Murphy here from FitFab Cities and today we are doing a full body toning workout. You'll need a pair of dumbbells, a resistance band, and enough space so that you can do some walking lunges. We're gonna do eight exercises total and in order to get the most benefit out of the circuit workout, you wanna try to aim for minimal breaks between the exercises. But obviously, if you need them, feel free to take as many breaks as you need. All right, let's go. For our first exercise, you're gonna need your resistance band, and we're gonna do a reverse lunge combined with a single arm row. So you wanna put both handles of the band in one hand, and you're going to take your foot back. So here I'm taking my right foot back into a reverse lunge. I've got the handles in my right arm, shoulders are back, abs are tight. And when I come down for a lunge, I squeeze my back muscles back for the row. Lunge, row, release, stand up. Weight in the heel, row, release, stand up. Lunge, row, release, stand up. Excellent, so you're getting lower body work here upper body work, and also you'll feel it in your core. Now, if you don't have a band or a post to wrap it around, so we're gonna go ahead and switch legs, and if you don't have a band or a post to wrap it around like I do here, you can also put that band in a doorway, or you can get a friend, or uh, maybe your boyfriend, your husband, or somebody to hold it for you. So just because you don't have a post, doesn't mean you can't do this exercise. Again, shoulders are back, abs are in nice and tight, squeezing the muscles in the back, reverse lunge, row back, and stand up. Excellent work. So again, we're working the back of the legs here, we're working the front of the legs, calves, and also really getting the shoulders and really sculpting those back muscles. Almost done. Shake it out, great work. Next exercise is a very simple push up, and you can do this on your knees or on your toes. You wanna to try to keep the abdominals in super tight. Exhale as you push the floor away. And again here, we're working the entire upper body and still getting a little bit of core. Excellent work, now you can drop it on the knees like I have. This is a really nice modification for push-ups. Let's get a little bit deeper in the push-ups to get a little bit more tricep action here. And for exercise number three, just a simple stationary lunge. So you wanna keep the knee over the toe, we're gonna to go straight down and straight up. Straight down and straight up. Concentrating on pushing through the heel, so again, you're sculpting the back of the legs. And we're doing anywhere between 15 to 20 reps. So nice high reps here, focusing on toning, All right, great work. Go ahead and switch the legs. We'll do the stationary lunge on the other side. Weights in the heel, knee behind the toe, straight down and straight up. You wanna make sure that you don't take your momentum forward and back. Instead, you go straight down and then press straight up. Exhale. Perfect, excellent job. All right, shake it out. For exercise number four, you need your dumbbells and we're gonna do an upright row. So here we're gonna work the upper back and you wanna bring those dumbbells right up the front of the body, leading with the elbows and squeeze a little bit at the top and then slowly lower down. Excellent, excellent work. Exhale at the top, leading with those elbows up and back down. Again, we're working the shoulders, a little bit of upper back and a little bit of bicep here. For number five, keep the dumbbells for a dumbbell squat. So again, you want the knees back behind the toes, weights in the heels, and you wanna to try to get down as low as possible, and then squeeze your weight through the heels as you come back up. And if you want more of a challenge, you can actually do a jump squat instead of the dumbbell squat. So it's up to you, pick the dumbbell squat, or if you want more of a challenge, you can also try these jump squats. 
All right, so for number six, we're gonna do a tricep kickback and work at the back of the arms. So you wanna bend over, bring those arms up, elbows are up nice and high, and squeeze the triceps as you bring the arms straight back and then bring them back in. So you're really, really gonna feel this right at the back of the arm. This is perfect for shaping for upcoming tank tops, sleeveless tops, all that kind of stuff. Elbows are up, squeeze the back of the arm as you straighten it up, and then bring the elbow back in. Very good. All right, number seven, dumbbells again. We're gonna do a walking lunge, and as we come up from the walking lunge, we're gonna squeeze the biceps for a bicep curl. So I know I go out of frame here a little bit, but I want you to try to aim for, you know, three to four walking lunges. Again, weights in the heel, so that we're really working the back of the legs and we have that good, safe lunge form. And then as you step up, squeeze the biceps to complete a bicep curl. So here's where you might need just a little bit of room in your living room if you're doing this at home, or a little bit of room on a gym floor. All right, number eight, plank position row, last exercise in the circuit. So take it into plank position. I like to modify this on my knees because it's definitely more of a challenging exercise. And you're gonna have the dumbbells in your hands. And what I want you to do is take it down and do a push up. And when you come up, row up with one arm. Push up and then row up, squeezing the muscles in your back. You wanna try to keep that core nice and tight so that your hips don't shift side to side. Squeeze the muscles in the back. You can see I'm fighting for those last couple reps here. This one's really tough, but a lot of bang for your buck. That's the full workout, so go ahead and take a break, and if you want more of a challenge, you can repeat it for a total of two or three times through full body, total toning circuit. All right, for more, be sure to subscribe to the Fit Fab Cities YouTube channel and visit fitfabcities.com.